ușor Pentru că mi-a luat Dalin Cel mai bun și cel mai fin Și mi-a zis deschide ochii Nu te ustură deloc Cu Dalin mi-a i-am deschis Nu mă ustură, v-am zis Dalin, șamponul preferat al copilului tău News reached Paris this morning that Josephine Baker is on the verge of bankruptcy. Adored in Paris but banned in her native America, she was once the richest black woman who ever lived. Her years of fortune began in the 1920s with her scandalous banana dance. But now her chateau in southern France is in danger of being taken away from her. It's been the home of her 12 adopted children of all races, her rainbow tribe. Geno. And? Okay, you from Japan. Yari from Finland. Louis from Colombia. Moshe from Israel. Mayan. Mayan. Some people in the villages around Le Milande are turning against their penniless neighbor. Oh, I, I don't care about her philosophy. <laughs> All I know is she has not paid one bill in uh, seven months. No rock and roll left. Yesterday, Josephine said goodbye to her children, sending them to friends in Paris. Vowing to keep her dream alive, Josephine is threatening to lock herself in her medieval castle and take on all comers. My dearest children, I want you all to know that I love you and that I've been forced to send you away. By now, you're in Paris, hearing stories about my scandalous past and crazy ideas, and I must set the record straight. I've got slave and Indian blood, which I always claimed made me more American than most people who call themselves that. So what am I doing here? So far from where I began. This here is a castle. It's got walls ten foot thick and a hundred foot high. This here is a princess. Ain't she beautiful? She can have a pick of any prince she wants. This here is the prince she chooses. He's just about the swellest thing that ever been. You can tell he's a prince. He's got silver buckles on his shoes. When I was trying to grow up, white folks had no heart and black folks had no power. All the little black girl had was a hard way to go. Any niggas in here? There's some many niggas in here. Open this door, nigga. I started running when I was just a little bitty thing. 
St. Louis on a Tuesday morning, 1917, 39 black people died that day. <laughs> I got a knot in my stomach that never went away. I swore that if I grew up, I'd make sure little children didn't have to live scared. Ever. Dancing must have come from running and laughing from crying. Here, take Chloe. By the time I was 14, I realized nobody hates a black girl who's cute and funny. <laughs> this way I know to keep warm. I like making people laugh. Can't hardly stop from the face that I got. Well, how about I take you off the end of that line, give you your own comedy spot? You mean it? If little David could use his harp to make the angels cry, I meant to make them laugh till I had enough to eat and enough clothes for at least two changes. She is my brown skin butterfly. She is the prettiest flower that when I got to Broadway, I was still in black face dancing to all white audiences. So when I got an offer to go to Paris, huh, I didn't think twice. My wildest dream. I knew Mama wasn't going to act glad. She said a colored woman's life is from can't do to can't don't. And she didn't want her daughters getting their hopes up and their hearts broken. She'd been a dancer, too. Willie Baker, what about your husband? He going too? Well, shoot, he can't hardly go. He got a job on the railroad. Besides, we don't see too much each other these days. No, madam's too busy dancing alongside half-naked women. What you mean by coming here shaming us? What you mean by it? I sent you money, Mom. I sent you money every week. That don't give you the right to parade up and down or stuck up and hinky, you bring attention to your family. Take me, Josie. Can I come to Mama, don't! Go, Missy. Joe, I'll send for you. When I get set, I'll send for all of you. New York, Paris, the moon. Go where you like. Oh, don't you bother promise. us no more. Oh, I promise. I'll send for you. I'll send for all of you. I'll miss you. I got news for you, girl. You ain't so much of a dancer anyways. France, still black but free in France. 
We could stay in hotels and dance in the streets. The air made us drunk. The first time a white waiter served me and called me ma'am, I nearly died. I fell in love with Paris that day. Sidney Bechet with his soprano sax and his Louisiana smarts was my daytime friend and my nighttime company. See, Josie, this here is a big party town. It's been that way since the war. Every week, they gotta have a new sensation. And this week, baby, it's black skin, and I like it. Ah. and they don't care. All they want is that sweet ass of yours. Yeah, they want my bare ass. But shit, they want my bare black ass. My primitive, my essential ass. If my mama found out she knocked me in the next week come Monday, I want respect, Bichet. I came here to be a dancer. Maybe I could be a singer, too. I headlined on Broadway. I do comedy. I'm good at it. Well, they want something else. You're gonna be out of here on the first thing smoking and you don't deliver. Now, I'm your friend. I tell them what you want. You wanna go back to five shows a day on the Chitlin circuit? Looking for lodging in places that don't say no dogs, no Jews, no niggas? And look, Josie, you and your sweet ass had got them right here. And don't it feel good? And ain't you a long way from East St. Louis? Sentez la chaleur sur votre corps. Très bien. A famous painter asked me to pose. Cessez de bouger, Joséphine. Joséphine ne bouge plus. On fait la peinture ou non? Voilà. On se découvre. S'il vous plaît. Pour la peinture, Joséphine. Un petit peu. <rire> voilà, c'est si simple. Encore un peu Un petit peu His eyes approved of me. To him, I wasn't just a woman or a colored woman. I was all women. Nobody had ever looked at me that way before. Never before. Erotic. Cruel. Sauvage. Enfantine. Mm -hmm. Dangereuse. <laughs>
where she was. She'd been there all the time. I'd been too busy making faces so folks would like me. I'd never seen her. There she was. It made me the most talked about woman in the world. I had fame and money and Paris and freedom. And I bought a zoo full of animals and a pet leopard. I was loved by bankers and danced for royalty. I didn't miss Willie Baker the least little bit. I died and gone to heaven. with everything you've ever wanted. Oh, Victor. Oh, Victor. Paris is the dance, and you are the dancer. And we're going to stay on this boat uh -huh. forever. Huh? And I'm going to learn to speak French properly. Yes, sir. And Chiquita's going to have lots of babies. And so are we. Oui. And a big house, big enough for all the babies. Chiquita's babies and our babies. Our all babies. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? From Monsieur Victor. words. A colored woman's life is from can't do to can't do. <laughs> Because I grew up hungry like a lot of other people did. 
Learn this. No Frenchman will sacrifice his respectability to make you his wife. Josephine. Mistress, yes. Lover, yes. Wife, no. And not because of your color, but because you have no family, no history. Adios en ese rencor. Give your farewells without bitterness and enjoy Paris while it lasts for you. Remember, everything is possible here. Back home, I was a stonemason who liked to dance. I come here to Paris, give myself a title, and the next thing I know, rich women are paying to dance with me, with Count Giuseppe Pepito Abatino at your service. Stateside, we'd call it being a no count count. <laughs> What are you going to do when they get tired of you? When they get used to you? When they begin to look for the next spectacle? The next Josephine? Read the American papers, Count. I'm the most famous colored woman in the world, and I plan on being the richest. As long as you're the latest novelty, the freshest scandal, it won't last. Dancers don't last. Next week, they want something different, and if you can't give it to them, then it's goodbye, Josephine. Ciao. Josephine, are you ready to go home to America? Are good things waiting for you there? I see a young, lonely girl who would have gone back home a long time ago, if only to visit, but something is keeping her here. She's still looking for something. Make me your manager. Make you my manager? Look at you, are you crazy? Well, you have a century older than me to start with. Josephine, please. Inside of you, what do you want? To dance and be left alone by people like you who just want a piece of me. That's all I want. Just to dance and be left alone. Josephine, you think I'm trying to rob you? I'm not a thief. I am not a thief. I work for my money. What do you want? Inside, in the secret place. When I walk down the street and everybody's staring at me, I want one day to be able to know, really know, that they're doing it because they see me. They're not staring at my color, they're staring at me, at Josephine for who I am and what I'm worth. I am a black Italian. I'm from Sicily. I'm also from the South. I know this feeling. I promise you this. Dances don't last. But Pepito and La Baker will. I promise you.
ça va, ciao. Quand cela arrive parfois, au loin te j'aperçois, avec un beau qui sauve, ben oui, je t'en l'ai. want you but never never have you you can hold them you can touch them <laughs> but leave them look look at that that's my fairy castle this is known as the Sicilian key <laughs> The Abatino method. The Abatino method. Oh, 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 let's go! We should marry. Yes. That's the next thing. Countess Pepito Abatino. Countess Josephine Abatino. Oh. I still happen to be Mrs. Josephine Baker. I, uh, I never got around to filling out the papers for leaving Willie Baker. We just tell the world we're married. Do not lie. I improve on life. One day I will teach you to do this. Countess? Contessa. Contessa Abatino. This room's the nursery. Bambini. <laughs> but not yet. In a few years, yes? You're a dancer. Later. For dancers, children come later. Dancer, singer, you can do anything you want. But children can wait. Contracts. 
baker fix, advertisers, invitations. Soon your name and your face will be in every billboard, in every magazine in France. that went wrong. What could you do? You send them all the money you can. I should have been there. It would have been different. I always took care of this. It was up to me. It's up to me. I'll make the travel arrangements so you can go to the funeral. Back to St. Louis? No, I'm not ready to go back. No. I'll go back when I'm ready. I just, then I'll just send them all the money they need. You are ready to go back. You have offers to go to Broadway, to Hollywood. When I'm ready, I said when I'm ready. I do not know of a thing so terrible that would stop me from going to my sister's funeral. Here! What am I most ashamed of in my life? Not keeping my word to my sister and then being too scared of America to go back for her funeral. The idea of America still caused me to wake up trembling. Europe lay ahead unconquered. I packed up my fear and my bananas and headed out. The Theatre Royal Stockholm is proud to present, at the opening of her European tour, the magnificent, the untamable Miss Josephine Baker! They want to kill you, now they adore you. I love you. I love you because when I ask you learn this, try something more, you not only learn and try, but you become it. God. I love you because when something is put in your way, you, you fly over it. And it does not happen very often. I love you. Take everything, I still love you. My Josephine. Et 
Je dois t'avouer que je t'aime Et toi les ressens tout de même It is time. You are ready. I just received another offer for a movie for you. No, Hollywood wants me to play maids. I have maids of my own. Well, then the only thing that is left is Broadway. Have I been wrong before? Was I wrong about the, the tour of Europe? Was I wrong about the world tours? Was I wrong about the recording contracts? Trust me. But I'm not ready to go back. Not yet. If I can get you the Ziegfeld Follies, Star Billy, still no? On your own terms, no mammy songs, nothing that you would hate yourself for doing, still no? And then when we come back, successful, then we can open the nursery, then children, Yes? Still no? Still no? Sick for you. Top billing. Equal billing with Fanny Bryce. Songs? We're talking to Gershwin and Cole Porter. Balanchine wants to do the dances. Think. The first black star of a Ziegfeld show. You have to tell her someday, Papito. No. You have to rest. You've lost another two kilos. You cannot go to America. She needs me. I am her manager. I am also her husband. Read it. I know it's bad. You do not understand. They all thought I was a crook. They all thought I was going to take her money and run back to Sicily. I am not a crook. And now I, Pepito Latino, a man who had only one shirt when I first met her. Now I am taking her to Broadway. I did this. I have to protect her. I have to be there. I have to be with her. Arriving in New York today is our homespun Negro star, Josephine Baker. A sensation in Europe, she plans to storm Broadway with her sassy charm. Miss Baker? Miss Baker? Are you happy to be back in the States? Miss Baker? How does it feel to be back home, Miss Baker? You rolling? How does it feel to be back home, Miss Baker? I'm so happy to be back. I'm just standing on my ears with joy. Did you bring your banana costume, Miss Baker? Oh, well, I'm afraid not. I got a little hungry on the boat and I ate it. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I want everyone oh. to know that it's Countess oh. Agatina. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. What's it it's on. Oh, that's my mama. Oh, oh mama, you came. You came to see Pepito. Pepito, it's mama. Mommy, he's a cow, you know? I said one day I'd bring my mama somewhere like this sit under a big old palm tree around a lot of millionaires and see if she still says Josie Baker can't earn a living as a dancer. <clears throat> we have a lot of southern clients staying at the hotel. Uh-huh. So if madam would please not use the lobby or public rooms. Madam and sir can, of course, have meals in their suite, but not in the restaurant, not together. Sir can, of course, use the restaurant by himself. Have a pleasant stay. I hope to be in the theater for your first night. I'm sure Madame will triumph. If I'm not allowed to use your lobby, how am I supposed to get to my room?
Like the man said, it ain't no disgrace being a Negro, but it sure is inconvenient at times. Now I know I'm home. Josephine Baker comes back half-baked French with the voice of a dwarf. So don't let them begin, don't begin. She's got sex appeal, but didn't a half-naked Negro wench always have a head start with that? She sings like a cracked bell with a padded clapper. Don't get me wrong, that's swell if you like Chinese music. Miss Baker is no great shakes as a dancer. And her singing, beyond the third row, is just a squeak in the dark. Josephine Baker may stir French pulses, but in New York, her talents come a dime a dozen. And it's not worth your dime to see this overblown, overstuffed canary. What I want to know is, how did a buck two St. Louis washerwoman's daughter get in the Ziegfeld Follies, anyhow? Oh, thanks for asking us, but why don't you just go on? Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll see you later. You did this to me. I gave you Broadway. How could I know? You gave me Broadway to keep me busy because you know there's nothing between us anymore. No, I love you. You don't love me. You worship me. That's not the same thing. You worship me because you think you made me. How can you say there's nothing in here? I have nothing but you. And I can't live with that anymore. I was right. I was right. I never should have come back here, especially with you. Especially with you. Josephine. Josephine. Taxi. Josephine. We met backstage at the Lido. You may not remember me. I'm in New York on business. Uh -huh. I saw your name. I thought I'd invite myself to... What are you doing? You want to go? Harlem, Where? 125th Street. Yes, ma'am. So remind. Josephine! She might be there. No, nothing to worry about. Everything is fine. Thank you.
malo. Josephine here. One moment. I want to see every account, every bank book. I'm going to open a club here and let him see what I can do. Have I stolen from him? Have I betrayed you? How? My mom always said that if you want something done, don't go trusting no man to do it. I gave you everything. You gave me what you could. That's something different. You take and you take and you take. I made you. What do I do now? Go back home. That's what you do. You go back to Paris. You couldn't even get me a hotel room. That's your job. My job? Yes, your job. I didn't want to come back here. You got everything wrong. I, I don't even have a dressing room at the theater. I don't have a chance up there. They hate you because of your color. No. They hate you for being as good as any white woman, for being better no. than any white woman. They are afraid of you because they cannot laugh at you. you That's didn't. why they attack you. You didn't insist on a microphone. My voice is too small for that theater. Why didn't you think of that? You should have figured it out. I made a mistake. Oh, yes. But the biggest mistake was to come to America. You were right. They're not ready for you. Here is a black woman doing what they think only a white woman should do. They are frightened of you. I told you that I didn't want to come back here. At least you could have handled everything properly. You're in over your head. You got everything wrong. And I'm the one who's up there every night. Every night I'm suffering up there. I cannot change what is in their hearts. I'll see what I can do. It'll be better. I promise. Let me try. Let me stay here. Please don't send me away. If you want a lover, if that is over between us, I'll close my eyes. You know I close my eyes. Let me stay. I made you. Yeah, you made me. But maybe I don't like what you made so much. You go back to Paris. I have something to prove here. Me on my own out of the mess you made. Adeo senza rancore. Remember? Say your goodbyes without bitterness.
truth was I was my mother's daughter. When you hurt, you reach out and hurt the person closest to you. Josephine, I guess we're a long way from Paris, girl. I'm sorry. He's dead. I know. Come on, sit down here. I sent him back and he died. He didn't tell me how ill he was. I sent him back and he died by himself. <laughs> and someday maybe you'll get a chance to pay him back. Someday maybe you'll come to this bend in the road and you can turn around and make it all right. Maybe. I'm tired. I'm through. I'm all used up. I can't do it anymore. And now you just gonna turn your back on the music, Josie? You just gonna hand in your crown? He made me. And you took. And now it's time for you to give back. What I know is, ain't no one ever been punished for giving back. Go on, wear your crown, Josie. No sooner had I got back from America than Hitler was marching across Europe. I had my two loves, my country, when it let me love it, and Paris all the time. I stayed to lend my strength to France. I joined the resistance and carried secrets for the underground. Who would think of questioning the pretty colored woman who had danced naked and worn bananas? My children, you can read about the medals I received and the honors I was given. Yes, I dearly loved La Belle France. And then the war came to this very house. Setzen Sie sich. Setzen Sie sich. Par ici, venez par là. The resistance ordered me to North Africa, the only place where the French army was still fighting back. I wanted to stay a part of that fight. But for the first time in her life, your mother's body let her down. She has secondary infections, but the real problem is not entirely physical, not entirely. 
She's suffering from a deep malaise. Deep regrets, monsieur. I saw you once. New York City, 1936. Someone said, there goes Josephine Baker. And I stood there on the sidewalk, and I saw this big car, longer than a city block, go by. And I said to myself, damn, there goes the richest black woman in the world, richest black woman there ever was. Sidney Williams, United States Army, Lieutenant. You just hit a swat flies with your jaws, Mr. Williams. You don't have a water fight? <laughs> well, actually, I'm kind of on a recruiting mission. See, the United States Army got us a problem. And it seems as though the U.S. private was supposed to be getting ready to fight the uh, Germans and the Italians, instead of which the white soldier's fighting the black soldier and the black soldier, well, mm. he's fighting back. And I'm supposed mm. to do something about it. Well, you got a big old rock to push up a mighty steep hill. Well, I was hoping that I'd recruit somebody like yourself. See, I've got permission to open these liberty clubs where soldiers can meet off-duty, get to know each other. And I need a name to pull them in. I can't do that. For one thing, I'm not an American anymore. I'm a French citizen. That's my country. I gave up my American passport after the way they treated me before the war. From what you tell me now, this is no better for our people. That big old toad is still sitting on that lily pad. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Williams. No. No. Mm. Now then, Miss Baker. I regret, madame, that you had a much more serious infection than we thought. We had to do a radical operation, madame. We found out why you have been so ill since leaving France. I had no choice. You will not be able to have any children. I'm sorry. But I'm Josephine. You took my baby. You took it away. Please, Baker, there's nothing you can do. Please, come away. Get out of here, you old devil, man. You Ms. better Baker, leave me alone. Please. My mother's gonna catch you in your son. Oh, baby. <laughs> Nurse, there was an officer here last week. Lieutenant Williams, black man. I'd like to see him. Well, Lieutenant Williams, you gave me a lot to think about. Hmm. Do you think people still want to see me? See Josephine Baker. The notorious Josephine Baker? <laughs> no, 
The scandalous Josephine Baker? Yes, yes, yes. I am not just a decoration, Lieutenant Williams. And I know now that God didn't give me this voice just to help people forget the wrongs that's been done. Them. I also know that he wouldn't want you to kill yourself trying. My dear, I know exactly how I'm going to die. Out of breath, exhausted at the end of a dance. And that won't be for a long, long time. All right. Josephine. Josephine. Do you think this dress will do? Well, if not, it's the only one I've got. And what about my hair? What do you think? Uh... Josephine, there is something I must say to you. I do not know if you will feel I belong on the same stage as you. <sighs> I stayed on in France until two months ago. Unlike you, I did not join the resistance. I did not get involved. I have been working. All during the occupation. Oh, that's true of a lot of people. A lot of entertainers. Huh. Chevalier. And they're still there. You, know, but you, you must know this about me. I am no collaborator. Hmm. I just continued to work while the Germans were there. There are a lot of things in my life that I regret. I guess we just wake up at different times. But the important thing is that we do wake up. Hmm. Josephine wants you out there. Because Joe Bouillon is the best band leader in France. And Josephine only works with the best. <laughs> Thank you. Most, Most of you boys were drafted. Well, there's somebody here who volunteered. She was in France when Hitler invaded, and she didn't cut and run. She stayed. She was one of the first to join the resistance. She helped smuggle people and information across the border to safety. A house was searched by the Gestapo. When things got too hot for her, she was ordered to North Africa. She is here for the same reason she stayed in France. She wants to give something back. She's Josephine Baker. Hitler chased me out of France. <laughs> this is a song that was written for me my first years in Paris. It's a song about someone like you out there, far away from home, a little lonely. <laughs> And a whole lot confused. J'ai deux amours, mon pays et Paris. Means that she had two loves. Her country and Paris. The part of her that was black and the part of her that was white. The old country and the new country. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to sing this song to you 
with all of you white soldiers sitting down there in the front and all of you black soldiers in the back and along the sides. Hold the music, Joe. It ain't gonna hurt as much as you think. Just take a look at my band up here. Soldier. You've got room beside you. Now you need a helping hand in a fight. When you hit those beaches, are you gonna stop to ask what color it is? And you, you soldier, do you want to be in the back all your life where you can't see nothing and you can't hear nothing? No, ma'am. Well, then you better get down here. Josephine's gonna whip your hide. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Only call the lovely bell, love us for us, Something got born that day. I hadn't just made people forget their troubles. For a little while, I had presided over brotherhood. One day, America was going to hear from Josephine Baker again. If you're going to get married, get married in France and get married in May like your father and I did. And for Adolf? I have to make a speech about the Josephine Baker I, I already know. I could make a dozen. Uh, there's a Josephine that I shared a foxhole with more than once uh, when we were uh, playing for the troops in North Africa. Uh, I don't know who I was more scared of, the enemy or Josephine's temper if I didn't get the music. Oh. Just right. <laughs> don't believe him. <laughs> There's also the Josephine who went by herself to Buchenwald and sang for the survivors. To the Josephine you are, the Josephine you will become. I love you. Mm. I saw her once. It was 
was in St. Louis, and I was running from something terrible. In the midst of all the smoke and noises and hate and hurts, she told me it would be all right. I was going to be okay. And something else. She had work for me. I had a job to do. So you're a believer, madame? Oh, yes. I am a believer. But I don't think he's in one place. I, I think he's as likely to be in a synagogue or a mosque or in a warehouse. Person in the house. It's the worst night yet. I don't understand. What do they want? What else can I do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much for coming. Good night. Now look who's pushing a rock up the hill. Uh huh. Where are my people, Sydney? We sell out every night, and every night it's like gaps in the mouth of bad teeth. <laughs> A couple of black faces, that's all. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. They just found another way of keeping us down, that's all. I bet you thought that uh, things were going to be easier and fairer when the war ended. Yes. Didn't we earn the right? Good night. Good night, Miss Baker. Good night. Speak up now, and they call you a red. Mm -hmm. You know, open up your mail. They bug your phone. Look at Paul Rogan. Oh, Paul. He's branded to call me. Took away his passport. Since the war ended, 54 black men have been lynched in the South. A lot of them still wearing their goddamn uniforms. 50. Four. But isn't anybody fighting back? Our colored leaders? They split. And you? What do you think, College Roy? <laughs> Josie, you have come back to see the big old toad still sitting, honking on his lily pad, honking louder than ever. We need all the help we can get. Tell her it's not that I don't sell tickets to Negroes. Call it, whatever she wants to call them. The fact of the matter is they never show up to buy any. Well, tell her. You, you tell her this. You tell her. You're her husband. It's out of my hands, for Christ's sake. There's a city ordinance that says no Negroes are allowed this side of the bridge after 9 p.m. Tell her. Tell her this. But be prepared to cancel the show. OK. So what about this? Let me have a word with the police chief and get the ordinance lifted while she's playing here. I guarantee open seating. The Negroes don't have to sit in the balcony. It'll be just like it was when she was singing for the GIs in the war. That's what she wants? You got it. Okay, take it up now. This is good. Oh. 
this is good. Oh yes, um, there was one thing more. She wants to know how many black stage hands you have. And if you don't have any in a city that is at least one quarter colored, why not? Are you mad at me too, Joe? You told me this was the real reason you came back to America. So what can I say? Did, did I only want to make a million dollars? There is the only way we can pay for the chateau, the way we live. No, you've learned my lesson. Don't stand in front of a moving train and don't argue with Josephine. <laughs> How could I come back here and not fight? Well, I did not think it would be this hard. But they're laws now. We've only got to use them. Keep pushing against that big old door. <laughs> oh. oh, my. This is so awful. Yes. Yes to everything. Integrated audience, stage crew, everything. Now, can we please rehearse? Can we all get to see that dress? Oh, that's the other thing. Not good enough. Send to Paris. all-powerful Walter Winchell said as only he could say. America should welcome home its prodigal daughter with open arms. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea. Walter Winchell of New York reporting. Let's go to press. The walls keep tumbling down for Josephine Baker, the best thing France has sent us since Lafayette. Now only is she one of the few entertainers who can fill the big rooms. She's taking on City Hall from Tuskegee to Tribeca, refusing to play any dates where the audience is segregated. Hats off, folks. <laughs> the 
this evening. Thank you. Now, I'd love you to sing this with me. When I say, tu me quieres, which means, do you like me? Yes, I do. Oh, you say, yo te quiero, which means you do like me, and I'll be happy, 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 happy. Then when I say, tu me quieres, do me love you. Me when I was a bitty thing, I saw people killed because of the color. And I got scared. I got so scared, I ran, and I ran, and I kept running, and I ran to France, where I found me a real-life count, and a castle like in the picture books, and I knew kings and lords. But when I came back here to New York, I wasn't allowed to stay in a hotel. Things are changing, but I say they're not changing fast enough. I say some things have changed for the worse. You've got to fight every day. You've got to fight for the little things so that they don't take the big things away from you. When I see a roach, I squash him. Stop that man. You stop. You called me a nigger. You said you didn't want to sit alongside a nigger. Well, I don't know if you know it, but there are laws against those things. Excuse me. Listen, call the police and tell them that I am making a citizen's arrest now. A very special day in Harlem, where the 21st of May has been declared Josephine Baker Day by the NAACP. Tens of thousands crowd the sidewalks to cheer the little girl from St. Louis who has become a legend and example to millions. A social force, too, she has taken on the case of Willie McGee, the black man accused of rape and awaiting execution in Florida. Meantime, New Yorkers go Josephine Baker crazy. Her concerts sold out. Welcome home and bienvenue to the Dark Star. Did he? Right this way, please. You're right, small. Hi there, Joseph. Hi, Joe. Hi. You have two teams on now. Not a bad table. Not bad. Isn't that Grace Kelly over there? Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, my God, did you see? Swelling and party in the cup room. Sanctum Sanctorum. Another famed store club. Includes Josephine Baker, one of the best acts to hit this town in many years. The Bonnie fighter for people's rights entered to begin the begin. Cole Porter must have had her moves in mind when he penned that smooch. Read it back. Yeah. Josephine, Josephine, Excuse me. Josephine. I just want to ask. Please, let me help you. My English is at least as good as that one waiter's French. Last time I went quietly round back to a freight elevator. I've worked to be who I am. I deserve better. Excuse me. We ordered a crab meat salad and three steaks. The kitchen is out of crab meat. Steak too. May I? Thank you. I don't believe it. Somebody forgot to tell the chef. We have been waiting for an hour. Now are we being served?
You have your drinks. Listen, I just work here. I don't make the rules. What rules? What rules do you have about serving colored people? Well, Walt, it's up to you now. Knowing that if you stand up, if you open your mouth, you turn around and you have no friends suddenly. Nobody wants Hello, to know Justin. you. Hello, how are you? Hi. Even Walter Winchell doesn't want to know you. You're attacking Walter Winchell? Why doesn't he just stand up and say what he saw? I don't understand. You're saying Walter Winchell saw it and I did nothing? Hello. Print this in your paper. Yeah. You know that blacks aren't welcomed at the store club, Walter. Why don't you stand up and say what you saw? Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all the ships at sea. Walter Winchell of New York reporting. Let's go to press. I want all America to hear me tonight. White America, colored America, an America that knows how many times Walter Winchell has gone to bat for better treatment of minorities of every kind. Now let's get a few facts straight. I am appalled at the agony and embarrassment caused Josephine Baker and her friends at the Stork Club. But I am equally appalled at her attempts to involve me in an incident in which I had no part. Now, I am going to read to you a statement from the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People acquitting me of all charges La Baker has been making against me. Miss Baker, have you got any reply for Mr. Winchell? The NAACP just came out for him. Excuse me. The NAACP agreed to a statement. And Mr. Winchell read out the first half, stating that he had been a fighter for minority rights since before the war. However, he conveniently forgot about the second half, which stated that he was supposed to break with the stork club and defend my right to eat anywhere I choose. He double-crossed you, is that what you're saying? You're calling Winchell a liar? He's He's acting acting do you with what your wife is doing? Is this all just a storm and a cocktail glass? Is this all just a publicity stunt, Mr. Bullion? My wife did as much as anyone to help your army in North Africa and Europe during the war. She traveled thousands of miles against her doctor's orders. But when we came to New York, we were turned away from 63 different hotels. 63. Turning to someone right at the top of my drop-dead list, Joseph Phony Baker, self-proclaimed Joan of Arc of the colored races and communist sympathizer. Don't you think that she's just about had all the free chicken that she's due here? She carries a French passport since she chose to renounce her American one when she married husband six, seven, or eight a few years back. Don't we have any say in who can get into the States to stir up trouble between the races? You know what would do us all a favor. For somebody to send this French citizen a list of the SS Normandy sailing times back to France. And maybe they could stamp her passport. No admittance. Reports that Josephine Baker helped the Allies in wartime are probably true, but not until the Vichy Nazi bunch started losing. 
Then she turned her old friends in. And how come she hasn't patronized one Negro spot since... Six weeks ago, he said I was the best thing to ever happen to race relations in the States. Listen. They have taken away the movie offer. Our three-year touring deal is now officially dead. All the bookers have pulled out. And today, your publicist left. If she represents you, no one else will work with her. She's fired. She didn't walk out. I cannot work with people who don't believe in what I'm trying to do. They're all fired. What's happening, Joe? This is worse than before the war. This is a war. Josephine, you must hurry. That's all right. She got a big house in France. That's right. Four and past that time. Mm -hmm. We the mm -hmm. ones got to do the living here. What gives her the right? Let's go home. Careful, watch your step. Why no, hasn't anybody come forward to help with this thing? It's simple. They've beaten up the people who stood up for it. Do you have any statement for the Negroes in America? Is it true that you're leaving because of the McCarthy hearings? Have you ever espoused communism? When it wasn't enough to call me a nigger, they call me a communist. A fascist and someone who hates Jews. Josephine, who has medals for the war. Six weeks ago, I could have played any date I want. And now people move away from me in restaurants because they're afraid to be seen near Josephine Baker. Are you a loyal American? Now they say that when I go back to France, I shouldn't be allowed in America again. Excuse me. One more question, please. So is it true, Miss Baker, that immigration are thinking of revoking your visa? You got any further comments on that? And I want you to put this in your paper. We're listening, Miss Baker. Now that I know what happens to people who ask to be treated with simple human dignity, it'd be an honor to be bought from America. One thing we're going to get straight right from the get-go. I ain't learning no French. Mm. Had I really changed anything? Were black people's lives any better? And mostly, had I helped the children? of heaven quiet at our door. Here we rest untroubled, voyagers no more. Blaze forest wood in hearth fire, sound vesper bells, a poem. Lord, bless our lives with children. Make this house a home. From Japan. C'est moi qui suis sa petite, son nanana, son nanana, son nanamite. Je suis vive, 
je suis charmant comme un petit oiseau qui chante. Il m'appelle sa petite bourgeoise, sa tante qui qui, sa tante qui qui, sa tante qui noise. Dans un lit, on est tous sous, mais c'est moi qui l'aime le mieux. To begin with, we agreed on four. But then you could not tour America because they will not give you a U.S. visa. But even then, I agreed to five children, even though we cannot begin to afford. But another child. Joe, we have to have a Jewish child. We need more, Joe. How can we show people that children learn to hate? That it doesn't come as easily as playing with a doll or a ball. Unless we have Moshe. <coughs> Bless you. Now, we need him. Now, please, just sign. Oh, come on, Joe. You'll love him. Please, please. Cows give more milk, I suppose, because they see their name in neon lights. Oh, Joe. This is Le Milan. Now, don't you believe in Le Milan? But neon lights in a cow shed. All right. Who thought of strawberries? Josephine. I said we should grow strawberries at Christmas time. Nobody else grows them then. No. You see, we can charge whatever we like. Mm -hmm. Gardening lesson. Not even for Josephine Baker will strawberries grow at Christmas. This is very annoying, I know. But it is fact. These will all be dead. Joe, why are you being like that? Don't you believe in our family? We are a family who live in a castle with a room for every week of the year, who own so much of the surrounding countryside, we issue our own postage stamps. Well, don't you think that's a nice idea? A family, a village, a castle we can have, yes, but we cannot have a world to take the place of the real world. It's a big house. Yes. But there will always be enough money. If we live sensibly. And this Moshe is the last. Sensibly? This is coffee from the Ivory Coast. Wait. This is our rainbow tribe. Joe and I adopted each one of them. I gave up my band, my life. I sold the house my parents left me. Put all the money into the chateau. Every penny I ever had. Nobody's never been able to tell her nothing. Least of all me. Poor baby. 
Do not do this, Josephine. Please, do not do this. He was mistaken for a bundle of rags. Akio, we are wrapping presents. Joe. He was found lying frozen in the snow, sweetheart. But why should it be us who take him in? You cannot save the entire world, Josephine. You cannot adopt every abandoned child. Who will do it? Who will do it if we don't? Josephine. Marianne, you're not to be around that tree until tomorrow morning. Upstairs now. You gave me your word. You promised. You have your family now. I want to give a home to every child whose parents don't want it. Why is Josephine wrong for that? Why is she bad? Don't I love the ones I have? Well, nobody could love them more than you, but that's why you have to listen when I tell you we cannot afford to live here. You do this, and we will lose this house and everything. Believe me. Noel. I shall call him Noel. Josephine, you do this and I will leave. I'm Josephine. I can't stop at four. Four in some boring little house with no fields of trees to play in, no farm, no animals, no rivers to swim in. I don't want any child to hurt anywhere. Because I am Josephine, I cannot stop at four or six or eight or ten. I won't do it. I can't. Don't ask me, Joe. I won't. Then you will lose me. I will not divorce you. I will give the children what help I can. But I cannot stay. First week I was in Paris, I saw a box of candy, oh, this big. It cost two weeks' wages and all the other girls thought I was crazy to buy it, but Joe, I know. I know I was born knowing you have to want that big box. I have heard this too many times about wanting so much. This time, no. No, Josephine. Let someone but else. Jo but Joe, you won't leave. You won't leave. What about the children? Do you think it's good for them to see their father destroyed? Cause anyone who gets too close to you, you, you burn. No. Oh, yes. It, up there on the stage, this is fine. But down here, you burn anyone who gets too close to you. Love me here. Now. That's all I'm asking, Joe. Just love me. Do what I say. That's all. Do you hear? You're not asking for love. Just for everything to be done your way. You just said it. Just one more. Please. How could you say Something no, Joe? Oh, no. You cannot trust anyone. You never listen to me. Never, never, never have you listened to me. You respect me now. Let someone else. You'll stay. You don't have the strength to leave me. I learned it from you. You need me. That I shall find out.
He's leaving me now just when I need him the most. Just when the children need him the most, he's leaving now. Listen to me. That's a good man. He's walking out. And you didn't have a share in it. Listen close, Josie Baker. That's a good man who has taken as much as he can take. He's going, but I don't want to hear a word of divorce from him. Why shouldn't I? Because you have 12 children here with you. They need to know they have a father someplace. You always did. You sent him away. You sent my daddy away. You wouldn't even let him back in the boxcar to see me come Christmas. Now, why did you do that? He left me, girl. Yeah. And you blame me for it. Because he didn't want any children around. My daddy didn't want me around. And you blame me for it, and you're still blaming me for it. Are you ever going to stop blaming me for that, Mama? I can't change. I'm too old to change. Well, I can't either. I couldn't do what he wanted me to do to keep him. I couldn't. I have to do it my way, Mama. I have to. There's no other way. If I wasn't like that, we'd still be hauling those wet sheets back in that boxcar in St. Louis. But no divorcing. You promise me. And no bad mouthing. They love him, Josie. And he went as far as any man's ever gonna go with you. I'm going back on the road. I'm going to keep this place. The next song I'll sing for you is about my beautiful home in the Dordogne, my castle, my dream of brotherhood, Les Milland. And it's about my beautiful, beautiful children. You know, we're old friends, you and me. So I feel very comfortable to say to you that right now, we need your help. I know you won't disappoint Josephine. Oh, I have to say, darlings, it was easier than bananas. Don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what papers you have from a judge. You're going to run me away from here after 30 years and all this place means to me? No, you cannot do this. The people of France will not allow you to do this. No, I stay and that's my final word. Si tous les gens décident là, si tous les peuples d'ici bas sont à couper de leur couleur, n'avia qu'un cœur. With Mama gone, another wall had fallen. I worked on, but the money got smaller and the bills got bigger. Oh, 
grand village où tous les Now you know why I have to stay here. Why I can't leave our house. It took Hitler to get me out of here before, and you see what happened to him. This isn't a St. Louis boxcar with newspaper stuffed in the cracks. These walls are ten foot thick, and they'd keep an army out. I've done it wrong. But I've done it. I've made bad decisions, but I've made decisions. I lived the life of Josephine Baker. Nobody could have lived that life but me. I love you. Your mother. Already, madam, you're no longer the owner. But I was supposed to keep everything. Down, put that. Go, go. You have to go. I think stop is. No. Get her out of here.
Josephine Baker! I was in the resistance too, madame. I just wanted to tell you that you're wonderful Le children, super, every one ça. of you, and I'm so proud and happy that you let me be your mother. And perhaps, perhaps your mother isn't as old-fashioned and out of touch as you may think, no? Especially you, Jean-Claude. Mick Jagger is in the audience this evening. So there. so much. It has been such a marvelous, marvelous evening. You know, it's not often that an old girl like me gets to look back over her life, over all the bends in the road, and be here with such a giving audience like you. I have learned. I have learned that the one thing you never ever get punished for is giving. Come Oh! 
for the times they are a change. Come writers and critics who criticize with your pen. Keep your eyes wide. The chance won't come again. And don't speak too soon. The weeds still in spin. There's no telling who that it's a name man. For the loser now will be lighter. For the times they are a change, changing. Come senators, congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway. Don't. Walk up the hall for he who gets hurt will be he who has stalled. There's a battle outside and it's raging. It'll soon shake your windows and. For the times they are a change. Come, mothers, and come, fathers, throughout the land. Don't You can't understand your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. Your old wrong is rapidly aging.
Thank you.